It is time for Comeback Sports with Brandon, the Coach Perry, and Pat, the Shot Caller Flaherty. Here we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Comeback Sports. It's our third episode of the series where we discuss 10 sports topics of the week. Folks, I am Pat, the shot caller Flaherty. I'm joined by my partner, Brandon, the coach, Perry. Brandon, what's up, buddy? How are you doing this week, my man? Hey, Pat. How's it going? I'm really excited, especially for today's show. So many amazing topics, a few that are really fresh off the press and looking to get into them. Yeah, it's crazy. There's so much going on in sports right now, uh, pros, college, even high school uh, level right now with, with uh, everything that's uh, happening. So we're going to get right to it. I think the biggest stories of the weekend, obviously, were the NFL playoffs. We had the wild card games over the weekend. So, Brent, I know you want to kick this one off with our first topic. Yeah, well, we're going to jump into the AFC playoffs. And first, I want to toot my own horn and say everybody that I picked to win on last week's show did win including the uh, Baltimore Ravens over the Tennessee Titans. And it actually was a closer game than I thought. Um, but Baltimore came out on top with a really big second half. I don't know if you – did you watch that game, Pat? I did. I did. Uh, Baltimore was very impressive. You know, they, they don't have that explosive offense that, you, you know, a lot of teams are trying to achieve uh, these days in the NFL. But they controlled the game, I thought, throughout the second half. And in the first half, even though Tennessee – got up seven, and you're saying, you know, Baltimore is not a, a great team that can come back from a large deficit. You thought if they could eat, at least stay within seven for most of the game that they would be fine, and that's exactly what happened. And then, as you mentioned, the second half, they were terrific. The way they can run the ball, uh, and then, you know, everything changed with that Deshaun Jackson, uh, Jackson touchdown run. As soon as he made that unbelievable touchdown run, uh, I, I think the Titans kind of ran out of gas at that point. Yeah, I mean, uh, Lamar, Lamar Jackson, that was a huge run for him. And it was reminiscent to that Deshaun Jackson punt return. And so I know that's uh, that was such a big play. Uh, and it broke the team's back like Deshaun Jackson did to the Giants there. I forgot what year that was a few years back. But, um, yeah, no, Lamar Jackson with that big run in the second half, I think they needed that to really spark the rest of their offense. And he actually sparked their defense I think Tennessee, as we saw throughout the year, was really built to run the ball behind King Henry and Derrick Henry running for over 2,000 yards. But I can I can tell you that it looked like the Ravens were actually built to stop the run with the addition, of, especially of Calais Campbell in the middle. And they held Derrick Henry in check, as far as I'm concerned, um, especially for what we're, usually, we're used to seeing out of him. You didn't really get to see that yeah, much. No big, it runs out of him. He didn't really grind them down either. Uh, and on the other hand, like I said, Lamar Jackson really came to play, especially in that second half with that big run, and then just chipped it away. And then they just managed to keep the lead and really finish them off. And and you know what? Uh, they're going on to the next round. And and that next game against the Buffalo Bills, man, that's the that's the game of the playoffs for me. No question. I, I actually thought the game of the weekend was the Bills-Colts game. I thought that was probably – probably the most evenly played out of all of them. And I thought the Colts dominated, not dominated, I'm sorry, they controlled the first half for the most part in that game, I thought. And then uh, I think, you know, Josh Allen, you know, still being a young player, even though he had an MVP caliber season, uh, still needed to kind of get in the swing of things when it comes to playoff games and, and, and really almost in being the favorite. Now the Bills for the longest time have been the underdog. They've been behind the Patriots in the division. They've never been one of the top seeds in the AFC. Now they're the two seed, and they just – I think it took them a little bit to really kind of understand that and get into playoff mode. But as soon as they got going, um, they started to play much better as well. And then, But they almost gave up the lead at the end there because the Colts' defense is still tough, even though Josh Allen had a great game. And, um, you know, the, the – Philip Rivers, I think, actually outperformed a little bit. I didn't expect him to play that well. I know he made some mistakes, and because he's an older quarterback and because of his his crazy re weird release, his short release, that he, there's some throws he just can't make, and I think that was probably the difference in the game. But Rivers did play a lot better than I expected in that one. Sure. You know, there's been some talks of, of Philip Rivers actually retiring 
Right. And I personally would be like one. I do not want to see that happen. I mean, there's a shortage of quarterbacks already in the NFL. If he could gut it out and come back out for at least one more year for that Colts team, I think that would help the Colts especially. But I think it would just help us as NFL fans to have a team with a, with a quarterback. I know, you know, Jacoby Brissett is, is a great quarterback as well. Might be on the market, come back to New England as well as the rumor out there. Um, but yeah, no, I, you know, I thought the Colts really had a chance led by the led by Philip Rivers, the experienced quarterback in the playoffs, I think was a huge uh, experience for them. I think their play calling was amazing, too. Uh, if you saw some of the play calling, especially in like key times, third down, they were amazing in that game. Um, but they just did not have enough. Buffalo Bills were ex- extremely explosive and they were the team that I picked the win anyway. And then and that's exactly what you've seen. No question. I think you know, the third AFC game was the Cleveland-Pittsburgh game. We're actually going to get into that in a little more detail later on in the show, but obviously Cleveland won that one 48-37. Crazy game for Pittsburgh.